what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys i uh was scrolling through i was looking at my request list and i came across this about copenhagen very interesting because um y'all know i do a lot i've done a lot about denmark and stuff like this but we got this copenhagen look as picture what picture cake i don't even know what that word is I don't even know how to pronounce that one. I ain't even gonna lie, but do the picture look like how they are on Instagram? Uh, just with some of the videos I've seen, uh, it is very nice. It's very cool. The correlation of the buildings and stuff, especially in this particular part right here. So we finna check this out. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. And let's see. Let's see if Denmark is like Instagram. <laughs> Copenhagen can look so picturesque on Instagram, but how about in reality? The only way to find out is go and check it out for yourself. Oh. So we did. Copenhagen is Denmark's capital, both politically and culturally. Around 650,000 people live within the city limits. We checked out three of Copenhagen's most popular spots. Do they live up to the pretty pictures on social media? A photo of Newhound is oh, obligatory yeah, that's for the... every visitor now, to Copenhagen. Now, this is the main one I always see. Even when I'm looking for thumbnail pictures and stuff like that. This is like the main one. Copenhagen. The handsome old harbor is one of the tourist hotspots here, as plain to see by the crowds. A meal in one of the many restaurants or just a walk past the colorful buildings along the quay is an experience not to be missed. Hmm. Writer Hans Christian Andersen, a Danish national treasure, wrote some of his best known fairy tales here over oh, 180 wow. years ago. Dang. Many of Newhound's restaurants serve the classic dish of Danish cuisine, smørbrød, a kind of open sandwich on dark bread. Often they amount to little works of art. Dang, that's a bougie sandwich. What is that toast? A sandwich is two breads. Yepetusen, chef at the Kumpasilt restaurant, sees Newhound as a place like Newhound. no other. When it's summer and uh, everybody's sitting outside, it's just the feel that you want to sit in. There is uh, this. Uh, Bussing around uh, your ears from the from the people uh, talking in the corners and uh, to the guy the the playing guitar on the on the side of the harbor it's it's just the summer vibe. Nice. Yes, Newhound is teeming with tourists, but then such a picturesque sight is quite simply not to be missed. Another top site on social media is. I mean, Rosenborg I look the Castle. same. I mean, look the same. You know, people can add filters and stuff. Sometimes you gotta make those colors pop. In the early 1600s, oh. the castle wasn't an official residence, but a summer house for the royal family. Wow. For nearly 200 years now, the rather modest castle has served as a museum. Hmm. On display in the knight's hall is the coronation chair, Dang, the legs of narwhal cool. tusks, oh. and the crown regalia and crown jewels in the treasury. I see why they surrounded this thing with them guys now. The year before the corona pandemic, they the museum welcomed ready. over 400,000 visitors. Wow. It is impossible to have one favorite uh, object in this collection because it's full of beautiful, beautiful objects. It um, is. That is of cool. Very important, um, uh, of, of big importance to the history of Denmark. But you see behind me the three lions uh, made in silver. Uh, they Damn, are that's nice. some of my favorites in this collection. They are beautiful and, and uh, in former times they were used for the crown nation. Wow. The castle may be a bit small, but it's big enough to fill a photo or two. And the exhibition is also worth a visit. <laughs> the Tivoli oh. Amusement Park is another must do in Copenhagen. Why does it look like a little Chinese building over there? Japanese building, one of them. It had a good four and a half million visitors the year before Ooh. the pandemic. They come mainly to have themselves tossed around on the many rides. <laughs> hey, I know um, I don't do roller coasters, but I might they be going come crazy. mainly to have themselves tossed around on the many rides. On the over 100 year old wooden roller coaster, for instance. Mm. 
The park dates all the way back to 1843 and wow. boasts a very particular atmosphere. Dang, that's old. It's really cool, actually. I, uh, I read online that um, the grounds were worth seeing, no matter the price, so I came in and had to check it out before I flew out. Dang. I think it's very calm and uh, very easy going and it's beautiful. It's just a landmark in Copenhagen, something we're very proud of. And it's a beautiful park. It's very vibrant, yeah. it's a happy atmosphere. I think that's the best part about it. it makes everyone happy, even adults. That's the nice. 20 euro admission price isn't the cheapest, but the atmosphere in Tivoli is an experience But that's just in itself. like any, any other place, to These be honest. These spots in Copenhagen lived up to everything those Instagram photos promised. For more great travel content, please subscribe to our channel. Now, I definitely believe it. Um, like I said, I haven't been to Copenhagen yet, but just looking at videos and stuff like that, you can see the beauty. Uh, like I said, uh, usually you can use like a filter and stuff, you know, to let those those colors on those buildings pop out, especially the one I forgot the name of, but where all those colorful buildings are lined up. I think that's probably my most favorite place. If I were to go to Denmark, I'm stopping there first because I'm like, dang, look at these colors. I like it. I like it. But always enjoy Denmark. Um, yeah, I I think all of it's going to live up to its hype once you get there, especially if you go when the weather's good. Now, if the weather was bad, then you probably would be like, oh, they wasn't going to. If you went when it was raining or snowy, then, you know, of course it's not going to look about when I mean, you've seen it. But all in all, Copenhagen, you do live up to the hype and the reality on the ground. That's important. But that's all I have for this video. Appreciate the recommendation. Y'all make sure y'all send more recommendations. Hit that subscribe button. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.